Hey, it's Timo here from Equip2, and I'm gonna show you guys how to set the close size setting on a top and bottom apron on R3H. First step is to get a B key and remove the safety pin so that we can open the inspection door on the crushing chamber. Once the pin is pulled back, then we can undo this lock nut here, and undo this nut, and then open the door. Before making any adjustments, we first want to check our close size settings on our bottom and top aprons. And this is done by taking the shortest measurement between the top of the blow bar and the closest spot to the apron itself. Before checking the measurement on the bottom apron, we need to make sure that the blow bar is in the out position. If the blow bars are new, the rotor will need to be spun to the down position to make sure the blow bar comes out of its holder and then brought back up towards the bottom apron and then our measurement can be taken. Then we're going to bring the rotor to the down position until the bar slides out and then bring it back up as close as you can to the bottom apron and our measurement is between here and the top of the apron. So that's our close size setting. This can be done with a roller or a measuring tape. Currently around 40 mil on the bottom. To check our close size setting between the top apron and the blow bar, we need to bring the blow bar up. Blow bar will slide back in, so we can give it, because it slides back in, because it's new, so when measuring the top apron close size setting, uh, we subtract 15 mil to our measurements. So we have around 200 mil there, so roughly around 185 mil currently. Once the measurements are done, then we can turn the engine on and engage the hydraulics. To adjust the bottom and the top apron, we use these two levers here, IP1 and IP2. IP1 does the top apron as pictured, IP2 does the bottom apron. To adjust our top apron, we need to remove the, the nut lock. Once this is done, then we need to go on the lever and take the weight of the apron so that the nut comes loose so that we can adjust it. To adjust the top apron, you first want to pull the apron back to release this nut. And if you want to bring it, the apron to a closer, close size setting, you want to unwind it so that it drops it in more. Uh, or if you want to pull it back so you can open up the setting, then you screw it in. Once you've got your desired setting, then we bring the apron back in using the lever until the weight is sitting on the, on the nut and the rams are loose. Once this is done, you can recheck your close size setting on the top apron and if you're satisfied where it's at, then you can lock the nut. Once your setting is complete, then you can remove the safety pins on each side. To adjust the bottom close size setting or the bottom apron, you should remove these clips. And we have a shim system where we can move shims from the front to the back evenly on both sides. So we can set the apron forward or backwards depending on where we put our shims. If you want to make the close size setting smaller, you want to pull out shims on this side and put them on this side 
So to do that, you need to use the hydraulic lever and pull the ram in to release the shims. Pull out on both sides the same shim. Then bring the ram the opposite direction. And now you can put the shims in the other side. Once you've got the shims in the correct position, then you can release the tension on the ram, making sure it's loose. And then we can check our close size setting. Once you've adjusted all your close size settings, then you can close these up. And this is how you adjust the aprons on an R3H.